Shalom. I'd like to have a different kind of discussion this evening. I would like to discuss a social experiment that I derived several years back. But before I get to that, I would like to have an open discussion about internal work. TB gradius ago procura, sasa capo olus. I'm well in the understanding that I am not the only human alive that knows about internal work. If you do internal work and you know exactly what I'm talking about, uh, it may be nice to hear somebody talk about it. If you're not really sure what I'm talking about, it may be a good idea to stick around and listen to me talk openly about it. In this video, I will not be doing any dictating or telling you exactly what to do. All I'm going to be telling you is a few techniques that I use from my years of uh, meditation and yoga and developing my own uh, peaceful internal world. There's some um, uh, internal work that I have done that I can share with you. Kya Padi, I trust your internal intuitional signals to understand the significance of what I'm saying and be able to apply it to your own situations in your own ways. I don't judge you for judging me ever. And I understand that a lot of people that are conscious of internal work and such would probably consider that as I'm strong enough to push it away. And one of the benefits which I live with due to this health information, I am not strong enough to push it away. It is not within my vessel. It's gone. I know. Nobody can believe it. <laughs> it's not there. If you're not judging me, Thank you. <laughs> well, I need this particular internal work technique. Um, I developed from hearing a lot of sirens in my town. Every time I would hear a siren and I knew that it was not for me and it was not for my loved ones. I developed an internal habit of every time I heard the siren, I would just take a quick second to go inside myself and think, thank God. That siren is not for me or my loved ones. And then just go about my day into other habits that I'm not going to tell you about because I don't want it to influence what happens on your end. And I want this to be very basic because I want it to be most useful. That none of this is gender restrictive. If you're a human being, you should understand my information and be able to apply it to yourself regardless of your gender. Now, this is a technique that I developed during uh, issues remaining motivated to keep up with my housework. Zaisa, I'm sorry to harp on it, but I know there's these cliches and I don't want to talk about them anymore. We don't need that perspective. Our children don't need that perspective. If you live in the house, you work in the house. Unless there's circumstances that are special, but I'm talking about more average living. It's common for people to have motivation issues to do dishes because, well, they're not fun to do. So it's easy to fall behind on them needlessly due to personal lack of motivation. And again, I am not judging you. I'm just speaking openly about it. If you can focus on the amount of time it's going to take you to do the small sink of dishes, rather than thinking about how much effort it's going to take, because since you don't want to do them, the effort it's going to take is going to be exaggerated within you to try to excuse it. And it's perfectly normal for you to do that. I'm not judging anybody. However, if you can then think about the fact that you're feeling that anxiety over like two minutes of standing at the sink, you may be able to find the energy to just stand at the sink and get it done. And it doesn't seem like a big thing, but something to keep in mind is the things that we do every day add up way more, but slowly. And when they add up slowly, it's very difficult to recognize. I have derived a social experiment to test one's perception of self and others, and I called it mind evolution. Do you understand what I mean by that? It makes perfect sense to me. I'm going to try to discuss it a little bit, enough that you may be able to get the drift. Individuals interested in taking part in mind evolution need to join the experiment as a team. Your team member should be somebody that you know well enough to answer questions about and knows you well enough to answer questions about you. You and your partner are put in a circumstance of meeting and answering questions about another couple. 
you're also questioned on each other and yourself. So in that, from each individual that takes part in mind evolution, there is a test of their personal perception of themselves, of someone they know, and of someone they just met and someone else they just met with results to compare to somebody else that they know well enough to answer questions about. We have all the same answers about them. But when you go back over on the other side, we have all the same answers of them. Some of the topics assessed in mind evolution are emotional energy awareness and assessment, uh, personal perceptions on nature, um, personal perceptions on modern spirituality, amongst many others. I never ever thought that I'd be sitting on a camera talking to you about it. I derived it several years ago. It's just sitting in a drawer. But with that said, Tiansa Yiwan, Muje Jana Chahi, Eferisto Yaton Endi Aferanshu, Pax Omnibus, Devoniki Danyo Vadalu, Kimisu Kala Popse, Bonum Noctis.